हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर चित्तरंजन माने वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन मैकेनिकल डिपार्टमेंट एट जेएसओई हेड ऑफ सर अंडर द वीक फोर ऑफ दिस इंटरनेशनल एफडीपी ऑन एनवायरमेंट एंड सस्टेनेबिलिटी अंडर द यूनेस्को चेयर ऑन ओपन टेक्नोलॉजी अरेंज बाय द डीवाई पाटिल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट हियर माय फोर्थ फोर्थ वीक वीडियो फॉर द वेरियस केस स्टडीज ऑन द सस्टेनेबिलिटी एंड कार्बन एमिशंस Before that, we'll look about the first two videos which I uploaded on the YouTube channel. The first video is mentioning about or highlighting about the case study of CO2 emission by both IC engine and electric vehicles, and the trend of various countries in the world for the CO2 emissions. And in week two video, as a continuation for the week one video, I am highlighting. the case studies of zlav that is a zero level emission vehicles which is proposed by the european countries as a target of 15% reduction in 2025 and 37.5% reduction in 2030 for ghg emission that is a greenhouse gas emissions also i highlighted in that video the bharat stage norms till 2020 to reduce the co2 emissions also so the outcomes i am getting for this video is that if the students watch that video they are going to understand the importance of reduce ghg emission by focusing on better option for the better world as our main objective of this fdp and also it be, they are going to familiarize with the various norms and laws to be followed to help for a sustainable development in our environment to get the environment sustainable so for this video i'm going to explain you the some a case studies which i have followed through this week the first case study i am going to use or going to explain here is the us greenhouse gas emission standards so as we know the united states of america is a very big country so it is a developed country so obviously all the industry sectors power generation sectors various other industries and transport sectors are very higher sectors so considering all sectors the 29% of us greenhouse gas emissions from the all over industry which is from the transportation sector that is a 29% ghg gas emission is from the transportation sector and it is making the largest source to us greenhouse gas emission compared to other sources so in us there are three agencies which create the vehicle emission norms and fuel economy norms first is the environmental protection agency second is the national highway traffic agency or administ uh, traffic safety administration and third is the california air resource boards so as we have seen the two videos there are too much traffic congestion in the roads and all are working all are driving on ic engine vehicles so the co2 emission is the most important thing in vehicles so we'll go for the next things as the scenario we are getting that all the vehicles in the us in that the 59% ghg emission will be caused by the light duty vehicles like a cars passenger cars then after that medium and heavy duty vehicles which is like uh, transport goods or suvs which causing the 23% greenhouse gas emission air aircrafts causing 9% greenhouse gas emission and ship and boats causes 2% and that <coughs> rail is causing 2% and other that is a generators and other power sources causing the 5% emission which is going to be work on fuel obviously to the next slide we are going to see the various environmental norms or emission norms which will be projected from 2021 to 2026 for co2 and fuel economy standards as we are studying this case study for the us we are using the units that is a gallon and miles for the distance and obviously for the volumes so first if we are considering the first passenger car category the co2 stand standards required or co2 standard limit is having the 187 gram per miles that means if that vehicle has if that vehicle is drive on the road they should contain only or they are allowed to permit only 187 g per mile co2 emission in the environment 
and that is going to be decreased year by year and in 2026 they are proposed to be decreased by 165 grams so as it is going to be look very low but as compared to the whole fleet of vehicle it is going to be impact as a higher volume or higher number also the cumulative uh, affected fuel economy we can say it should be having 43.6 miles per gallon so that means if one gallon fuel we are using it should travel with the 43.6 miles for that vehicle so as we know the gallon is equal to 3.78 liters so this is the fuel economy they have calculated so there are various categories we can see and there are various norms we can see for the various categories vehicle this will this is created created by the us federal vehicle standards and we are taken reference from this in the next slides i am going to highlighting the second case study for the cal carbon emission calculation from the vehicle or co2 emission greenhouse emission calculation from the vehicles as we know the main <coughs> outlet for the engine or vehicle to emit the gases is a tailpipe so we are going to calculate calculate the tailpipe carbon dioxide emission created by the burning of one gallon of fuel so as we know one gallon is equal to 3.78 liters so in a pictorial view we are looking for a different emissions emitted by the vehicles so co2 is one of them actually co2 is not an emission but it is a byproduct of combustion now we are considering as an emission because it is causing the higher effect on the environment as per the epa and other agency the co2 emissions from a gallon of gasoline that is a fuel which is also we call in india that is a petrol which emits 8887 grams of co2 per gallon that means per 3.78 liters of the petrol it emit 8887 grams as comparing to the co2 emission from 1 gallon of diesel it emit 10180 grams of co2 per gallon so as we are comparing the petrol and diesel or gasoline and diesel there is a 13 percent increased co2 emission from the diesel so the next slide we are going to calculate for different points so now we are going to calculate the tailpipe carbon dioxide emission from a driving a one mile before with that we are calculating for the one gallon now we are calculating for the one mile so co2 emission per mile is equal to as we already calculated co2 per gallon divided by miles per gallon so averagely we are taking the miles that means average we are taking 22 miles per gallon and as we already know it is 887 triple eight seven grams of co2 emission so for the one mile we are getting calculation of 404 grams of vehicle that means if that vehicle travels for one mile it emit 404 grams of co2 emission next we are taking the average annual carbon dioxide if that same vehicle is travel and it will be calculating then we are going to calculate the annual carbon dioxide emission for a typical passenger vehicles for again same annual thing now as we know annual co2 emission it is co2 per gallon divided by miles per gallon into miles so as a consideration first we are understanding averagely the passenger vehicle travel 11500 miles as per the data given by their transportation authorities so as we know the co2 per gallon it emits by 8887 miles we are taking average 22 miles per gallon and the actual miles it travel for one year is 1105 11500 sorry so it emits 4.6 metric tons of co2 so it is very huge amount for a per vehicle it is a very huge amount i know because the main byproduct of the fuel is co2 so this is the main concern that we have to understand if we are going for a mile it emits 404 grams if we drive that vehicle for the same content it emits 4.6 metric ton obviously in a ideal condition we are considering but there are different conditions obviously it is going to be changes that figure now we are going to see about the sustainable developments because obviously we required in some sustainable development to decrease that GHG emission. So the sustainable development benefits of lower carbon transport measures. I am taking the few case studies for that. First is the eco tax things I am taking. 
so what is mean by the eco tax in germany from 2012 they started the eco tax and vehicle tax based on the co2 emission means what if they have some limitation that is imagine there is a 95 gram is a limit for the euro 5 norms if we emit more than 95 grams co2 in air we have the eco tax of euro 2 that is a 2 euro per gram of co2 and yes there is a device which is fitted in the car and which is compulsory to all vehicles and that will be monitored by their traffic agencies so it will estimate that the implementation of the co2 based motor vehicle taxation will lead to ghg gas emission reduction of about 3 metric ton co2 equivalent to per year by 2020 3 metric ton guys so this is one of the method or the one of the we can say development how exactly it will reduce because we are avoiding the unavoid we are going to avoid the traveling of that vehicle which when it is not required that means unavoidable travel we can okay so next we are going for the brt as we know what is a brt so in bogota colombia there is a trans milano bus rapid transport that is a brt system which is also applicable in india also so i have taken the another example is one of the most successful brt that's why i'm taking this example moving up to 36,000 passengers per hour in each direction and it nearly saved annually 1 million, 1 million ton of CO2. So it is huge that is a transportation system by the BRT is most important. Next is a Delhi Metro that is an Indian example. The Delhi Metro was estimated to lead out overall reduction about 115 kiloton of CO2 equivalent in a CO2 emission in initial phase. When it is a full fledged, it is going to be reduced 463 kiloton of CO2 equivalent to the full ridership. As we are going to reduce the passenger car or other vehicle and we are traveling with the metros. So these are the some sustainable developments, benefits of the low carbon transport measures. So this is the case studies I am going to discuss today with you. Thank you guys. These are the references I am taken through all things. Thank you. Have a good day.